What's up guys? It's your boy Sean Walters and we back with another video for the channel. You know, you know the vibes, you know the vibration. Today we got NBA stat lines that look fake. Let's get right into this video. Two you points know. without getting a single yes, assist to James Harden scoring 27 points on just two made field goals. Today we're going to go over 10 stat lines that you have to see to believe. Throughout his career, Carmelo Anthony has earned the reputation Carmelo of being a bit of a ball Anthony. hog, and this game did not do anything to help that stigma. In a game between the New York Knicks and the Charlotte Bobcats, Carmelo finished the game with a 62-point outburst. This would go Corey on to be his already. career high, but this is somehow not even the craziest part about this stat line from this game. While Corey Anthony did that. more than his fair share on the offensive end in terms of scoring, he did not record a single assist in the 39 minutes that he was on the floor. Despite not receiving the ball Nigga much from their star teammate, the fellow Knicks what players did not seem to mind Melo's selfishness. After the game, J.R. Smith was quoted as saying, I've seen him score a lot of points, but that was some performance right there. Along with this, Anthony said, Just to see everybody smiling once again, that's what I was more excited to see. Guys on the bench smiling, high-fiving, having fun once again, that's the only thing I care about. What if I told you a player once recorded two triple doubles in the same game? Now, it's no debate what? that Russell Westbrook is one of the most polarizing players of this ha! generation. He is a guard that can do it all, and he put it on Two full display doubles. in this game. Ha! What was arguably Absolute the most impressive ha! game ever for Mr. Triple Double was actually dedicated to somebody else. On March 31st, 2019, rapper Nipsey Hussle tragically passed. And this was something Damn. that really stuck with Westbrook, who is also a California native. On Let's April go. 2nd, in a 119-103 win over the Los Angeles Lakers, Westbrook was seen alone on the bench rapping along to one of Nipsey Hussle's most popular songs, Grind in All My Life. After the once-in-a-lifetime performance, Westbrook Damn. pounded on his chest yelling, That's it's for like Nipsey. Wanna we finished or something, the game with 20 points, 20 rebounds, and 21 assists. The only other player to ever do this in NBA history was Wilt Chamberlain. After the game, Westbrook was quoted 20, as saying, 20, I'm not going to try to put it into words, but like I said on the floor, Damn. that's who it's for. I'm going to leave Westbrook. it at that. Our next stat line was one of the most unexpected in league history. Before he became an NBA coach, Scott Skiles spent 10 Ooh. seasons in the NBA playing for the Milwaukee Bucks, Indiana Pacers, Orlando Magic, Washington Scott Bullets, Skiles, and the Philadelphia 76ers. Throughout his career, he averaged 11.1 points, 2.5 rebounds, and 6.5 assists. While this is a very respectable stat line over a career of that length, nothing could have prepared the Orlando Magic fans for the show that he was about to put on. In a 155 to 116 win against the Denver Nuggets, Skiles finished the game with a masterclass Ooh. on the offensive end. On top of the 22 points he put up, he also dished out 30 assists. This is an NBA record which was previously set at 29 by Kevin Porter. While we have seen some incredible passers assists. since Skiles, we that's will likely some, never see another that's, that's player be able to score 20 stats, plus bro. points and dish out you know, 30 assists to, um, in the same game. Build up your, um, what if I told you, you guys a player somehow managed to commit 7 fouls in the same game your, your, your during the shot clock budgets, era? As any NBA yeah, fan knows, a player passes. is only allowed to commit 6 fouls before they are out for the game. In a hypothetical case, a player could technically commit a 7th foul if their team had no other healthy players and they were forced to stay in the game. But this was not the case for Cal Bodler, who remained in the game after committing his Ooh, sixth foul. Bro, we even know some of them the Indian Atlanta Hawks there. and Portland Trail. What? Yo, what going on with me internet, dog? Yo, don't do the- Bro. Come on. No? No, of, of all the times. Wait, are you in that? Trailblazers was already a blowout, and apparently the scorekeepers were not paying much attention after the Blazers already had the game wrapped up with a 100 to 73. They allowed Bodler to stay in the game even after reaching the foul limit, and he would go on to commit a seventh foul. But as a result of the scorekeepers missing his sixth foul, they believed that what was actually his seventh foul was the sixth that made him ineligible to play. In reality, his team should have been assessed with a technical foul. This is likely a stat that will never be repeated again. With so many eyes on each game and Nigga, like, like, come on, like, out of all I times them internet are up like a B right now, bro. When fans and scorekeepers, to, there is very little to no to chance that a player's sixth foul would ever go unnoticed in today's NBA. Draymond Green has never been known to be a scorer, however, he took his anti-scoring approach to a new level with this next stat line. 
Draymond Green has made a potentially Hall of Fame caliber career as a result of being the glue guy on the Golden State Warriors roster. Yes, he has never that's been my much team. of a scorer, but in his prime, he did everything else at an elite level. He Trade put this on full Udo. display when he became the first player in NBA history to Yee, ever record I a triple-double without scoring double-digit points. He finished the game with 4 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists, 10 steals, and 5 blocks. For almost any triple-double effort, points are the first thing that a player checks off the list, but Green has an extremely unique game. If he would have been able to score just six more points, he would have also had the first quadruple-double since David Robinson in 1994. Up next is yet another example why Dennis Rodman is considered the best rebounder of all time. Despite finishing his career in 23rd on the all-time rebounds list, Dennis Rodman is still a very common name that comes up when discussing the best rebounders in league history. This could very well be a result of Rodman only being 6'7 and every player in front of him on the list being considerably taller. He was a player that knew his role and always stuck to it, and this stat line so for four games in the 1993 in season while he was a member of the San Antonio Spurs about. certainly shows it. When in the first game, oh, Rodman finished the game with 24 rebounds that. and 0 points. In the second big game from the season, he pulled in 24 rebounds without scoring again. Later on in the ah, season, he pulled in 28 points. rebounds and 0 points. And in the final Man game of this caliber score. in the 93-94 to season, Rodman yeah, pulled in team. 20 rebounds again but without scoring. In NBA history, there has only been 12 times that a player has finished a game with 20 plus rebounds and did not score. It was absolutely insane that Rodman makes up 33% of this list in only a two month span. Outside of this ridiculous run, Rodman also pulled off this feat two more times in the 93 to 94 season. Our next entry is a player that managed to break the rules of time with this final stat line. Razul Butler had a solid 12-year career in the NBA, yeah. but this game may be the lowest point in his entire 12 seasons. In an extremely close 93-92 game against the Los Angeles Lakers, the Toronto Raptors subbed in Butler to inbound the ball for a potentially game-winning shot. However, the Lakers played incredible defense on the inbound, and there was nobody open. As a result of this, Butler was forced to take a 5-second violation. He would finish the game with one turnover in zero minutes played because of this. This is another stat line that likely will never be replicated ever again. What if I told you guys that a player <laughs> managed to score 27 That's points tough. after making only two field goals? In his prime, James Harden had the referees wrapped around his finger. This stat line fully exemplifies this. So in a game just in which the Houston Rockets sure. took on the Memphis Grizzlies, Harden had an extremely no one rough them night up the rules the field, of the NBA. he would end Harden up finishing the game with a very bro. respectable 27 points. He shot 22.2% from the field and only made two shots, but as a result of him making 22 of his 25 free throw attempts, Damn. he still finished the game as Houston's Ugh. leading scorer and the Rockets would end up winning the game by a final score of 100 to 92. While Harden put up a 27 point performance with only two shots made, another player had an even more ridiculous scoring night going about it the same way. Although Corey Maggette did not score as many points as James Harden's 27, he had the ridiculous stat line of scoring 17 points while not making a single shot from the field. In only what? 10 minutes, Maggette was able to finish the game with 20 free throws attempted. Along with this, he missed both of the two shots that he took from the field. Despite this, he still finished the contest with a more than respectable 17 points. Maggette is known for being a player that would put his head down drive to the rim and hunt for fouls and this was a method that worked like a charm in this contest against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Despite this extremely efficient performance from Maggette, his Milwaukee Bucks would still lose by a final score of 119 to 118 in overtime. The final stat line today was one of the most out of character performances ah, from one of the Dame best guards of this Dalla. generation. Despite Damian Lillard Dame being one of Dalla. the best scoring point guards in this generation, he greatly struggled Even on the no offensive end in the matchup against the Los Angeles Clippers. In this game, Lillard shot an abysmal 1 for 13 from the field, but he did what he could to still contribute. He would close out the game with an out of character 5 points but an even more out of character, 18 rebounds. Now, if you guys were surprised by any of these stat lines, what? make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video and hey, subscribe to the hit channel. Hit the like button if you like the video, you know the vibes. If you like my reaction to this, comment down below what I should react to next in the next video. Yeah. Out on this. See y'all in the next one. I check.